Yeah, I was um, – I definitely take a lot of blame for putting my team in that position, even going to overtime. Um, sitting on the sideline the whole time, just thinking about I had to redeem myself, had to redeem myself. It's not funny, but I was actually on the sideline, like, preparing my speech, like, you know, if, you know, if the game would have went the other way. Cause, um, but I definitely take that on my shoulders. But uh, that's, that's the thing about this team. We're just resilient. We're going to keep swinging. We're going to keep swinging. And was able to make a pl- big play at the end of the game, and we won the game. So Randy kicked a great kick. So I'm just happy that we won the game. Right, right, right. I mean, we honestly, we was getting a lot of deep crosses, deep crosses, and we was passing them off, passing them off. And I guess they finally got us on one where they act like it was going to do the deep crosser, and the guy just took off to the pile line. And I was just trying to run, run at full speed. I didn't know if the ball was going to be underthrown because it was, you know, he didn't, he took, he didn't really slow down at first. So I just tried to play through the hands and got there a little early. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. So essentially on that play then, it's not like it was a communication coverage. <clears throat> yeah, honestly, I, it was just my alignment. Uh, I was playing for a post or something like that, so I was too far inside, and uh, you know, it's just a learning experience. Was this one of the wilder games you've been a part of, and just how much did it take for you guys really to really step this one out? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely one of the wilder games. I mean, I've been in a lot of wild games, but this was definitely a memorable one. Um, like you said, I mean, we just knew going into this game that we was gonna have to trade punches, honestly. And you know, we really don't never panic on the sideline. You know, we're always thinking about the next thing, next thing. Even that last drive when we kicked the field goal in the overtime, we was thinking like, okay, we gonna have to go back out there and defend again. So, uh, just proud of the guys and the way they fought just the entire game. Yeah, that might be a little bit of mistake, Kevin. I know you got to get a three-game lead. I mean, how good is that? But how 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 pretty you can put on the gas? And just like you said, we got to keep the foot on the gas. Obviously, we understand how important division wins are, especially in our division. It's a tough division, uh, especially against a team like the Colts. We was able to you know, go two up on them, so we own a tiebreaker, and just in case we need that towards the end of the season. But we just got to keep it going. We got a bi- another big game uh, in L.A. I talked about it earlier in the week, man. Whenever you keep winning, you keep winning. The games get bigger and bigger. So uh, another big matchup coming Sunday night. Brandon said something to the fact that on the interception there in overtime that you had, you had relayed something or made an adjustment to David Long. Mm-hmm. Uh, about the, the way the play was going to unfold. Is that, is that what got you in position for this? Yeah, just, you know, playing, you know, honestly, it's just communication. Um, kind of anticipated what the route was going to be. As soon as I seen it, I just broke on it. Uh, obviously, I was deep, and I was able to, you know, cut the crosser. Kind of surprised he threw it, but, you know, that's the way that things happen, though. So, just happy I was able to make a play to help the team win. So you guys did you about- change the coverage, Kevin? No, it was not changing the coverage. Just an adjustment, you know, post-snap, really. That's all it was about. But it was – obviously, we communicated pre-snap, got the route. I was able to cut the cut the over and make the play. You guys talk about not being front runners. I know it's not exactly the same thing. You're way in front now. Is this a, kind of a new seat for you guys and, and something to get used to and figure out how to handle? No, I mean, I don't think we think about it like that. Our message – honestly, our message this whole entire week was don't take the cheese – you know, don't get get too caught up in these two big games. So we're not going to get caught up in this one as well. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely great to be, you know, three games ahead or whatever we are in the division. But we understand that this season is far from over, and we just got to keep stacking wins. Kevin, we've asked for a while about consistency, building on success, you know, avoiding a letdown in a game like this. What do you feel like is different now that allows you to win a game like this? I mean, I don't think it's too many things different. Uh, obviously, just the the guys that we have in our locker room, the coach that we have in our locker room, there's never a panic. Uh, we're not ever, you know, the moment's never too big for anybody. And we're just going to keep fighting. And that's just what is, that's the way this league is. And, you know, we understand that we're not going to blow teams out every game. Uh, we want to, but it doesn't happen like that. So we just got to keep fighting and keep fighting. And obviously going against a team like the Colts, we know that they're not going to lay down. Uh, that's just the way this game goes. So, like I said, another big win. Um, get ready for next week. Yeah, I mean, they, they come in bunches. Uh, I don't think I'm doing too much different than I was last year. I obviously talked about, you know, my mentality and just my mental pre- preparation going into this year was different. I'm not going to sit here and say that's the reason why I'm making plays and getting picks. Uh, I feel like this is what I do, honestly. I mean, I got turnovers in college. I get turnovers in the league. I feel like as long as I'm in the league, I'm going to be able to get turnovers. So uh, you just got to keep it going. I mean, it's all about getting turnovers to help the team win. If I get turnovers and we don't win, I'm not happy. <clears throat> You said what? What was the speech going to be that you were working on? No, nah, I mean, I was going to come here and just take all the blame, honestly. I was just going to put it all on my shoulders that, you know, I shouldn't put my team in that position to get in the PI um, and going into overtime. So, But that's what I was thinking about. I was already marinating on it a little bit. But at the same time, I'm thinking, like, man, the game is not over. So if I go make a play, it's going to be different. But I was, uh, 
I was prepping my mind a little bit. How, how was the team able to kind of keep his composure? You get a late touchdown from Molden, and then you give up a late touchdown. A lot of times, the team has the momentum wins and those two. How, how did you kind of get your footing and find a way to win? Yeah, I mean, we was obviously celebrating when Molden got the pick. And as we're coming to the sideline, you know, obviously the coaches and everybody say, hey, we're going to have to go back. We're going to have to go back. So we kind of just got to the sideline and made a U-turn and stood back right there because we had to go right back out there. So, uh, And even, it was even another play when Pittman caught the ball between four of us. Like, I got to go over there and bat the ball down instead of trying to catch a pick. Um, so that whole drive was just, you know, mistakes on my end. Uh, so, like I said, I just take blame for that. But got the W, so I'm standing here with a win. Thank you. Thank you.